How's it going everyone? Nick here. Welcome back to the channel and we're going to talk about a pretty important topic today. That is transferring all of your stocks out of Robinhood and into another brokerage. Now you may be watching this in the future just wanting to get all of your stocks that are in Robinhood out and into another brokerage, but last week Robinhood shut down being able to buy stocks, specifically GameStop, AMC, Nokia, and others that were being targeted by the Reddit forum Wall Street Bets. I have another video talking about that, but we saw that Robinhood has the ability to shut down retail traders like you and I, and a lot of people want out of Robinhood. So in this video, I'm just going to go over how you can do a transfer of all of your stocks from Robinhood to another app or brokerage. If this video ends up being helpful for you, be sure to give it a like. Let's go hop into the computer and I'll show you exactly what you need to do to transfer all of your stocks from Robinhood somewhere else. Okay, so as you can see, we're on the actual Robinhood.com website and they have an article called Transfer Stocks out of your Robinhood account. So it's not like they're trying to hide this from you from doing it. It is just a process and most people don't really think about it. Now before we get into the details, I wanna make something clear. If you wanna get your stocks out of Robinhood and into another brokerage, do not sell the stocks from Robinhood and then buy back in another brokerage. If you do that, you'll have to pay taxes on all of the profit you earned from Robinhood. And most of the time, the fee you have to pay when you do one of these transfers from brokerage to brokerage is way less than what you'll have to pay in taxes. Okay, let's take a look. So Robinhood says before you begin, this is transfers from Robinhood to another brokerage. They support partial and full outbound transfers. So you can either take your entire portfolio in Robinhood and transfer it somewhere else, or you could take a portion of that portfolio. And if you do decide to transfer all of your assets out of Robinhood, once that happens, they'll close your Robinhood account. And there's a $75 fee to transfer assets out of Robinhood. Now, some brokerages, if you decide to open up account with say TD Ameritrade, I don't know if they specifically do this, but other brokerages will offer to pay that $75 transfer fee. So whatever brokerage you wanna go to, be sure to check that out, see if they pay transfer fees. All right, so let's scroll down. How does an actual account transfer work? So transferring between brokerage to brokerage actually happens through this system called ACATS. That's the Automated Customer Account Transfer Service. So before you actually initiate any transfer, you obviously have to have another brokerage account opened up and ready. Personally, some good solid brokerages I recommend are Weeble, TD Ameritrade, and Fidelity. If you do wanna open up a Weeble account, be sure to use the link in the description of this video for four free stocks. Okay, so let's say you opened up a brokerage account somewhere other than Robinhood. You basically need to contact your other brokerage and have them initiate the transfer. So you're not gonna send anything to Robinhood. So in this case, let's say I opened up a Weeble account, I would actually contact Weeble and say, I wanna do an ACATS transfer from Robinhood into my Weeble account. Now your new brokerage will actually submit the transfer instructions to the clearing partner of Robinhood to get those stocks from Robinhood out to your new brokerage. So you may be wondering what information will your brokerage need for you to actually do this. Now this could vary from brokerage to brokerage, but overall they're going to need your Robinhood Securities account ID. So Robinhood actually tells you how to get this right here. All you have to do is go to the account icon in the bottom right hand corner of the app, tap investing, and then your account number will be shown at the top of the screen. They also say you might need to reference a DTC number for your transfer from Robinhood to wherever else. And Robinhood's DTC number is 6769. So what happens after you make this transfer? Well, first you need to know that you will not be making any more trades on Robinhood before you actually initiate the transfer. So make sure everything is settled in your Robinhood account. Everything's all good. You don't owe any money. You're not borrowing on margin, anything like that. And then once you're all good, you can do the transfer request to your new brokerage. But then after that, your account will be restricted, as I said, to ensure your transfer is processed smoothly. So you 
you won't be able to buy or sell any stocks. Your account will basically be locked in as it is. Now, obviously all the stocks you have in your account, you'll still own those stocks. They're just going to be transferred from Robinhood somewhere else. Now, if you do have Robinhood's other features like a Robinhood Gold account or Robinhood Cash Management, it does say in here that those will be downgraded as part of the ACAT transfer. Meaning you'll lose your cash management account and you won't be able to opt in at least for now. So what actually happens to your assets that are in your Robinhood account? Well, let's go over each kind. So there's stocks and ETFs, obviously. Any full settled shares will be transferred from Robinhood to your new brokerage. Now this part's important right here. What happens if you have fractional shares in Robinhood? So ACATS transfers can only happen with full shares. So let's say you have one and a half shares of Tesla they'll actually sell that half share of Tesla and then transfer it as a residual into your new brokerage account. That's called the residual sweep. So in those cases, you will have to pay taxes on whatever profits from those fractional shares that they sell. Also, any options contracts you have in your Robinhood account will be transferred to your new brokerage. Now, if you own crypto with your Robinhood account, you need to sell or liquidate all of that crypto before your transfer. Now they say if you don't do this before the transfer, it could result in delays, but really all they'll do is sell all your positions and they'll move that cash over from Robinhood to your new brokerage. But if you are invested in crypto, I recommend selling it all. Yes, you will have to pay taxes on the profits, but because Robinhood crypto is technically different, they're not going to be able to transfer any of that crypto to another brokerage, especially because a lot of these brokerages don't actually do crypto. And again, like I said at the beginning of this video, the fee for doing this is $75. So if I were you, I would actually do the calculation. What amount of tax are you going to have to pay if you were to sell your entire account? Now for smaller accounts, it may just make sense to sell it all, pay taxes on whatever small profits you have, and not pay this $75 transfer fee. Now this is one disclaimer from what I said earlier. If you are using margin, some brokerages you transfer to will accept margin, but a majority won't. So definitely check with your new brokerage on that. And if you initiate this ACATS transfer to get all of your stocks out of Robinhood somewhere else, and you decide, I actually wanna keep my Robinhood account and keep everything in there, you're gonna have to tell your new brokerage that you wanna cancel the transfer. I hope this video helped all of you out that want to transfer your stocks out of Robinhood to another brokerage. Again, I recommend Webull, Fidelity, or TD Ameritrade. Be sure to like this video, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.